Well, I think what Janice, Lydia, Allison, everyone is saying is if you, come to the, if you come to the table with your tank full, you're filling yourself with yoga or you're filling yourself sexually, you're showing up in all the other roles in your life in a much more meaningful way. We've come from this area where we're supposed to be super women, we're supposed to be the perfect mother, the perfect employee, the perfect beautiful person, the best friend, whatever. It's a lot of pressure. And I feel like um, women have lost their balance. And I think when you lose your balance, when you're too much of a worker, when you're too much of a homemaker, when you're too much of a X, Y, and Z, that you don't have balance in your life. And I think that really sort of translates into your sexual life or it shows in your sexual life. So if you're doing too much of one thing, then a part of you is not going to be working. And if that's not working, then that means there's no balance. So I think we should take a lot of time. Yoga always is good. But take a few minutes every morning for yourself and center and realize what your life is. Like look at it and say, okay, my life is really full and everything is in the right proportions or my life is too much work and I don't have enough social time, or I have too much, whatever. You find that balance and you find what makes you happy where you feel um, complete and centered. And when you do that, that little spring down there is just gonna be like, woo! We have children, we have to be super mom, super in profession, super wife, super this, super that. It's like, you know, it's enough already. You need time for you. But the most important thing is balance. You have to have balance with your family, meaning your own family, and then, of course, your extended family, parents, nieces, nephews, cousins, brothers, sisters. Balance at work, balance with your friends, balance your husband, fiance, boyfriend, whoever he is. And most important, take time for yourself. Get a facial, go get a massage, go to the gym, do yoga. Make yourself feel great. That's what I like to do. I like to empower women. You're the most important thing. You can't be super mom if you're going to run yourself down and get sick. Like, people always say to me, you're never sick. It's like, I'm a mom. You're not allowed to get sick. It doesn't go with the program because who's going to take care of the kids? Mm -hmm. Father? Oh, yeah, they're really good at it. <laughs> Mr. Mom, they're not. So at the end of the day, it's all, you should really care about you and how you take care of yourself, how you feel. Because if you feel good about yourself and if you feel good about your body, just within your own self, you should feel sexy. Well, let's keep this through line going, though, because when you are advocating on your own behalf, asking for things like, hey, do you want to go out on a date with me? Imagine if you succeeded at that and then went on to ask for something professionally in that arena. Do you have an example of a, a woman that you've been working with who made the transition after asking for something in her personal life into her professional life. She went and asked for the job that she wanted. She never owned what she wanted, and she had a peer who was in the same position as she is. He's up for promotion this year, and she was not. She actually went to her boss and was able to say, wait a minute, I want to be there too. I deserve this. And she, this is the first time where she actually was able to say, I deserve this, and ask for what she wanted. Personal and your professional lives are totally linked. And we needed to start in her professional life because that was where all of her life is. She was so consumed in her work that she was not even paying attention to what was happening in her personal life. She broke up with her ex two years ago. And it was actually when he just got married that she realized, wait a minute, I'm over this. This was actually not a relationship that I actually want to be in anymore. And now I can, now that I know what I want in my professional life, I can actually go and start looking for it in my personal life as well. Don't look in a magic mirror. Be the best that you can be. Be realistic with your expectations of what you're looking for. Make sure that you're emotionally available. And most important, make sure you love yourself. How would you expect somebody else to love you if you don't love yourself? Everything that's painful, that doesn't work in your life right now, it's because you have to learn and be the person that you're really supposed to be. So the truth is, like yourself and enjoy going out to dinner by yourself. Do things by yourself and you're going to attract the right person. I promise you, if you're not married or you're coming out of a marriage and you've been so trapped and feel so alone, you're not alone. I promise you you're not alone because you have to remember, liking yourself is the pathway to getting everything that you were supposed to get when you first got here on this planet. Karen, thank you. Everybody here, even if you're married, to do one experiment. When you're walking down the street, walk like this. And then your next block, walk like this. 
And I promise you, if you just walk with a smile, any, just walk with a smile, life is so much better. People are nicer to you. People will talk to you. What type of underwear do you have on now? When you have on great underwear, I don't know how it does it or what it does, but it makes you feel hot and sexy inside. You have to be proactive in every part of your life. About the fear of rejection, we walk around so afraid of other people. And so we just don't ask for what we want, personally and professionally. And so we have no control over what other people think of us. And the things that people think about us are more to do with what's happening with them than actually you. You are the movie screen onto which they are projecting all of their own stories and fears. So when you can let go of that and just ask for what you want and approach other people, yeah, you might not get what you want, but you're gonna be happier that you tried.